might can, leave it there. Can I clarify something? Questions. I'm sorry, Senator McKenzie. We'll yeah, come of course. to Senator Cameron. I just want to clarify this because I'm listening intently. So, Mr. Hallinan, what? Give us an example of a community car park upgrade. Like, is it, a, is it a car park at a shopping centre? Or is it a car park at a train station? Are they a mixture of everything? What are they? Uh, so that, that was the uh, commuter car parks program under the Urban Congestion Fund. Under the Urban uh, Congestion, OK. So as those car parks yep. were um, attached to uh, train, station. train stations. Right. Uh, and within easy access to the train station. So the locations were uh, anywhere from right sort of embedded in a train station through to about 500 metres away. OK, so then I heard you say clearly that some were cancelled because there wasn't land available. Did I hear that right? Uh, yes, that's correct. So I have to ask the question, how the hell does someone throw a bucket of money at a community upgrade when there's no land? How does that happen? Is there a dartboard? Was there a dartboard in the former minister's office or something? Look, I, um, I wouldn't speculate. There was uh, there were a series of projects identified as election commitments in 2019. Uh, okay, and there was an audit into that program. Sure, sure, but I'll make it easy for you. I'm still gobsmacked that we can have a government announce a heck of a lot of money going to a car park where there's no land to improve it. So you don't have to do it now. Can you supply the committee with examples of those? Is there one off or is there a few of them? Uh, we can we can take on notice any projects yeah. that um, uh, in that group if if the if there wasn't land available land couldn't be made available. I'm only saying because that's what you said. Yeah, yeah, there'll, yeah. there'll probably be a, a, a couple, yeah. not not many. It'll still be very interesting to know. Okay, I think, I think chair, it goes to the, the difficulty of what we inherited, where um, quite often, obviously, in the lead up to the 2019 election, they went around making the previous government made a lot of political <laughs> promises, um, and then. They had no delivery partners. Uh, order, order, order. order. Yeah. colleagues. Yeah. Just order. read your TPs. Just. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Senator McKenzie, I picked that up because I'm listening intently to the evidence given by the official. All right, I don't have a written piece in front of me to ask that question. Okay, and I find it absolutely gobsmacking that that is evidence of sheer incompetence and stupidity, but I'm sure that you may yeah. have some differences of opinion, and that we can throw buckets of money at projects where there's no, or you said the F word, fun, fun, fun room. And um, okay, you'll come back to us with that, Mr. Vernon. Now, Minister, yeah, carry on, you will be heard. That's right, and I think, you know, we were very clear that as part of the budget process, we wanted to identify the waste and rorts um, obviously, I think this is an area where there were um, substantial focus. Um, the fact that promises were made that couldn't be delivered, didn't have delivery partners, didn't have land, and also the costings as such to be delivered would, would have blown out, um, shows you that we did the responsible thing. And part of that motivation is also just trying to rebuild the trust that people have in politics at the same time. So it sounds like a lofty ambition, but you have to start, and that starts with uh, delivering on what you promise, uh, and that's what we've done in this budget. Thank you, Minister. Yes, Senator Cannon. We have land available for the uh, national fast rail, high speed rail project that you've committed $500 million to. Um, I'm do, happy you, do you have the land available? I'm happy for the department to add to this as well, but um, obviously, obviously that you was, don't know the answer, so I'm happy to. Obviously, that was um, yep. a promise uh, that we made. Um, in opposition and intend on but delivering just, on income. government. Minister, I'm just, but it sounds like you do not have the land. Can we just establish that? Is there, does, does the government, do we, the government, own the land for the fast well, rail project? Gonna, I'm just going to, high-speed rail project? Sorry, Senator Kane, I'm just going to, something very close to Senator Macdonald and I. We have a national, a national nation building project called the Inland Rail Project too. Well, so sorry, if we're going to start, you sorry, know, I don't think, I'm, I'm, but let's get some consistency. No, 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 I'm just saying, let's get some consistency. We're specifically. Well, that's what I'm asking for. We Senator are specifically. We well, want to talk Sorry. about the inland rail with your mate. Hang on, hang on, Senator Stirl. So anyway, this is, we will oh, you be gave me above the call, Senator Stirl. You, as chair, and I have just come in, Senator Canavan, and said we'll have some balance. And I find well, that oh, that question. <laughs> that's not exactly the, the, the officials working. can take that on notice and come back. Hey, to you hey, later. Sorry, it's point of order there, Senator Stirl. The officials can take it on notice. You've been here long enough. It is not your right uh, or, or, or in any way power to take questions on notice. That is a power for the minister. Uh, so point of order, Chair, it is not on your behalf to take uh, points to, to take no, questions on notice. And you know what, Senator Canavan? I'll let the official answer that, so but I'm I jumping just, in first because I know what's going to come. Can I just restate the question? We'll Does the government own the land for the fast rail, high-speed rail project that 
that it has committed to? I, uh, I, um, I don't think you can compare, can compare a commitment to set up uh, an agency <laughs> to do planning work um, compared to what you can, a promise on a car park in suburban Melbourne. Hang on, hang on. Um, so I think they are I'm substantially struggling. different I, things. I, um, that, I, that we're I talking am, about there. Order, I, yeah, I'm, order. But I'll just ask again, it's a yes or no question here. Does the government own the land for its high, its high speed rail commitment? And as I said, what we've done is we had a commitment to set up an agency to do the planning work. I'll just keep uh, asking which is it. what does, we've done. Does no, the no, government well, own the land for the high speed rail commitment? I've, I've answered the question. No, you have not. Have. Does the government own the land for the high speed rail commitment? We've set up an agency to do the planning work, <laughs> which is what our commitment was. Right. Can you take it on notice? Well, provided an answer. You have not. You've not said. You've not, it's a yes or no answer, Senator Chisholm. Have you no, got not. the land? Well, it's it's not. We've set up an agency to do the planning work, which is what our commitment was. So you do and not you, have the land. All right, it's not going to go. So you don't have the land. Hang I'm on, Senator Still. Okay, here. I'm not order, moving on. Order. So how the is minister, how Senator is it the different? Canadian, the you, minister you made, has you made answered. A, you made an allegation before sure. that it was somehow irresponsible for a government to allocate funds to a project where it did not own the land, vis-a-vis -vis the commuter car parks. Yes. We have a situation here where exactly the same situation exists with your commitment to the high-speed rail. Like. How is that any different? How, so you, by your own words, you are already starting off on an irresponsible path because you do not own the land. I'm going to stop this right now. I'll tell you what I will do. So I'll shut the mics never, down. Well, no, I'm telling you, I'm really... I think I'm you need a private meeting, because you oh, are interfering I'm with happy my questions. To have a private You're playing defence for the government. This is an absolute farce on your first day Senator of budget. Senator Canavan... Stop, stop. Is, you're meant to be chair, Senator stop. Searle. Don't you tell me what I'm meant to be. Can we have a the minister. Meeting? Can we have a private meeting, please? I'm happy to have a private Let's meeting. A private We're not having a private meeting until I say when I'm ready to have the private meeting, which will be very soon. The minister has answered the question, and you can continue with the rant and rave, and you can look at the cameras and do whatever you need to do, Senator the Canavan. As far as we're concerned, the minister has answered the question, and you can ask it <laughs> six, seven, four hundred times more. Ain't going to make any difference. And I'm very happy to have a Alice private meeting. Land. And we'll have a private meeting. But I'll tell you what yeah, we will do. Can we we can't start the private... We can Excuse me. We'll have the private meeting, but we have to contact members of the committee to be here. So, I don't can know, it might be 15, 20 minutes. No, 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 I don't care. Yeah. All members of the committee will be called and we will take the time that needs to get okay, them from other do. rooms. Well, I think we only have so, one on that, we will uh, cease. We'll have a bit of time out. And I can't tell you when we'll be back. Could I ask that um, people here for their corporate session can be dismissed now? No, no, no. no Mr. Betts, there's still there's still questions. <laughs> there. I'd like to say yes, but there are still there are still many questions. And with the new ruling in the uh, Senate that came in, well, it's not that new now. It can go on, unfortunately, all day and all night. So. It would sound so good in opposition, right sir, when you do that. We're going to have a private meeting. <laughs> We're going to suspend for a, a well, private well, meeting. Hang on, hang on. If you, that's what you've asked for. Yes, but, but you're, you're kind of going to contact only, it's only Senator Wish Wilson that's not here. It is not only Senator Wish Wilson. We're not going to have this debate for, um, well, publicly. They are not here, and I think you should just Senator count what? again. So we will suspend at the request of other senators. Well, can I, can, I, can I suggest, sorry, through you, Chair, that uh, we can continue questioning while we make that request and then we can have the private meeting no, here? Well, well, look, I, I've just called. Well, you because you can't, you, you are trying to now delay the scrutiny of your own government. Excuse because me. Because you don't have the answers. You don't have the answers. It, it is, it, we're an hour in, and Senator Chisholm cannot, uh, cannot, can't ask uh, answer basic questions about easy. his government's policy. Senator the Canavan, I'm so, making it very easy. You have requested, and I'm always so collegiate to help out my colleagues on this committee. Well, You've requested a private meeting, and we shall now suspend well, for a private well, no, meeting. We won't. That's, that is we're suspending for a private meeting. This is not how it works.